This video is going to be about doing menu buttons in um, Vector, which is the graphics program I've mentioned um, on this channel before, but I do recommend people downloading this, giving it a try, and see what they think. Um, it's free, and you can't really go wrong. Quite simple to use once you get get the hang of it. Um, Anyway, so go to Bootstrap Studio, or this is the way I'm doing it here, and just put in nav here, okay, and then go to vector, and on the left hand side at the bottom there, and we just go down here, the default is 640 pixels by 640 pixels. When you're using buttons, uh, images for um, menus, it's usually uh, 85 pixels by 31 pixels. The other quite popular size is 125 by around the 40, 45. So we're going to do that. We're just going to put in 120, uh, 125 pixels. Just going to put in 45 there. Okay. So this is what you see here. Um, I'm just going to put a grid on here. So we we'll go to the at the right there. So you snap and and grid. Just put grid. Okay, and you see this could actually be a little bolder, but um, I have mentioned that to the developers. But anyway, so we just put this at the uh, if you can see the mouse uh, at the bottom there, and we just put it to something like 300. Okay, so just try and get that in there. There we are. Okay, so just put that in the middle there. And we go down. You can have any shape you want, really, but I'm going to do this a rounded rectangle one. Okay, so I'm going to put that in here. Okay, all right, that's about right, somewhere around there. Okay, on Vector, it has a fantastic tool for doing um, gradients, linear and radial. I prefer linear. So you can do here the background any colour you want, okay? Like this, uh, you can, as I say, anything you want. But we're going to do linear gradient for this, okay? Now, by default, it goes to black and white, but don't want that, okay? So just put in that for the top. You'll see, if I just go in there, at the top, it's got green, which is the one you can press on that, okay? and that color would be at the top at the bottom it has a one there a little round thing okay now you can use any color you want on there so you have put in red there you see okay so that's how you change that in vector but i don't really want that color um more of a green tinge like that okay all right okay so that looks for me good uh, also, if you go to here, it's got more shapes, as you can see there. Now, the one that I want here, it's got like triangles, uh, hect um, hexagons, octagons, and uh, search, location, uh, email type thing. The one there is home. So I'm just going to put this in. Okay, obviously not the colour that will go with that, but um, just put in a little bit darker and that's not quite dark enough something like that I mean it's pretty much the colors are irrelevant the the main thing is is how to do this thing um, even down blue there. try that anyway so you just mess around with the size you actually see the square things and that's how you change the size on this okay right you can put text in and the usual t for text and okay. sometimes this can be a little tricky this okay so just drag this up here and then we change this i'm going to put home in okay and i'm going to change this to sort of black color okay and here, up on the right here, you can change um, your font size. Okay, you can see that changing. Okay. So in Vector, you can also have things like shadow, which is down on the right here. 
the changes like a blur shadow you can now insert shadow like that which would be white you change that and things like that but the that's that's all right for for this demonstration that's pretty okay just change the size of this again to me it's a bit big okay so about there will be all right okay right so how about get this um i'm going to download this all right okay right what we're going to do now is just download that uh, going to be png make sure on the right hand side that it's got what you want an svg of course this program called vector because of the svg scalable vector graphics um but in this case we're just going to put this either as a jpeg or a png the choice is yours okay download that and call it home.png save that okay and then we're just going to drag that into bootstrap studio there we go like that and that just goes into there uh, sometimes you might have to just drag that up there okay on there you just click that edit and get rid of the first item all right okay now if we just do preview on this and this will open an edge in uh, mine okay right there you go for that so if you wanted others um which you would if you go on this path right what you would do there is you just knock the percentage down to 300 or 200 percent what you would do is pages on the left there okay i'll just go zoom into that okay pages on the left you can i'll take that contact one because that was there for me before okay so what you would do there is duplicate okay so you duplicate that so you've got this one here saved at the top that you've just done and this one here uh, come out and then again like i say try and go down to maybe two or three hundred percent on this one to you get started this then you could like sort of delete that and you go more shapes which is this bottom one here and then say for example you wanted a contact you just put your email in there or if you wanted, uh, I don't know, maps or something like that, you put a location in, search, thing, you know, put that in. And then all you would do is, you know, for example, this is an email. You want that in there. Drag that in there. Change the color, whatever you want to do. Okay. And then you would just, like, change the text as well, you know. Um, and that's really basically what you do. You just change your text to whatever you want um you know and just keep duplicating as i say with everything to do with uh, design or um web design development anything like that always save your work but there's definitely worse ways to do images and uh, menus banners there's everything you can do in bootstrap studio there's um sorry bootstrap studio um vector then it's it's once you get the hang of it, it's a really fantastic program. Definitely uh, would recommend to download it, give it a try, you know, and uh, you can become a vector guru with that. So anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys and girls, and uh, thanks for listening.